I do it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's off. Got a little too good. I think it vibrated. I know. Starting. Hi everybody, my name is Chris. I'm a registered dietitian here at the Bone and Joint at Harvard Healthcare. And today what we're gonna bring you is a really a heart healthy recipe that Taryn, my wife is actually gonna help out with. And it's a spring roll. And I like to call it a brilliant spring roll because of all the colors and nutrients that you're gonna get from it. So what we're gonna go through real quick are the ingredients that we have here. So we have basil, we have spinach, we have carrots, an avocado, mango, shrimp, and some extra firm tofu. And we'll have some other options that you can have there too. Okay, so what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with the avocado and mango. And my lovely assistant here, what she's already done is she's done a great job with the spinach. She's plucked off the stems. Um, and I've already box grated this here. Yeah. Okay, and Taryn's also gonna do the rice wrappers, which she's a pro with. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with, we'll start with the mango first. So when you find the mango here, there's a bump that's on the smaller top here. And when you see that, you want to cut an inch from the side there. So I'll show you. It's just like this. And you want to just go down from the side. And what you'll notice, you'll see this white sort of seed in the middle. It's not a seed, but it's really a hardening in the middle. That's what you want to try to avoid. And you also have to do it on the other side as well. So see, you'll just sort of miss that seed. The little tip I wanted to show you is an easy way to peel it. So when you have the mango, what you want to do is you want to grab a glass with a smaller rim, almost like a wine glass, and you just want to push down on the rim, just like that, and you waste very, very little mango, and it comes out just like that. I learned that from Taryn. So <laughs> you sure did. Then you go down this same thing on this side. Again, came out just like that. So you, you really lose nothing, but you gain all those nutrients that are in the mango, like vitamin C and all the others. I'm gonna show you the avocado real quick as well, and then we're gonna, we're gonna cut those. So avocado, make sure you wash it first. Then what you're gonna do is down here, you're gonna cut, you can cut around. And as we cut around here, what you're really gonna do is you're gonna see, you'll see the seed in the middle. I like to use the knife to sort of help right there. Okay, and then this will also be the thing that you can put into the, the spring roll. So again, I'll, as Taryn begins to sort of help, we're gonna do the mango and then we can do that sure. while I go and get the, the rice wrapper. Yep, okay? you can, yeah, okay. And I'm going to just cut these into really thin strips so that they fit well in the rice wrapper roll because the rice paper wrapper is really, really thin and delicate so you don't want to add too too much to the rolls or else they're going to just be too full and the rice paper roll will wrap will break sure. um but this is enough of the mango and then we also have options for um protein because one of my options is tofu and i know that tofu is known to be rather bland but the option actually makes it really great because it can take on any flavor. And right. this has a lot of good flavors and nutrients and colors that help to um, make it a good vehicle for actually anything. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of make these some thin long slices too. And sure. I wanna explain that what I did was I took it out of the paper towel yeah. because it comes in a, in a container like this and it's extra firm, but it has water in it. So when you take it out, you can wrap it in paper towel and then kind of push it down and let it sit there even with a heavier plate or something. It just makes it a little bit easier. Now we're gonna use this raw, but you can also stove top cook it with just a little bit of cooking spray or anything. Sure. And it just gets browned on either side. You can also bake it mm -hmm. um, and add it, but you can eat it raw. So that's really great and makes it really good. Yeah, and I think that would also just add maybe like 10 extra minutes to the whole process. Uh, just bringing out another skillet, putting it all in and all those types of things. Mm -hmm. And again, the nice thing about this too is it adds a different texture to it, right? Because you're getting the texture if you use shrimp as a different texture than the softness of the tofu. It really is a nice little blend there. So I'll finish that for you, Taryn. Okay. And, and I'll start with the shrimp too. 
And then Taryn also is the aficionado of spring rolls. <laughs> I think she should actually just do that for, for a living. For she does it so great. Wow. It, it is pretty tough. <laughs> okay, so these are really um, very um, just delicate to work with. What I'm doing is I'm putting it in for 10 seconds and it's pretty warm water. And it's going to feel a little bit stiff and you can kind of hear it. You can hear it move around when it's still, but it, it may feel a little bit stiff still, but you actually kind of want it to be a little bit like that because it continues to get softer as it sits. Sure. Yeah. So the way I do it is I just put spray a little bit of cooking spray onto the plate and then I can easily transfer the warmed wrapper onto this and it won't stick. So as Chris finishes cutting that and just finished. Um, he's finished and what he did was he split the shrimp down the, the long side so that it's thinner. Yeah, so as you can see here, you can sort of see the orange on the outside and then the whiteness on the inside. So I really just slid it right in half. If you're, if you're a little bit nervous about that, try and put it onto the cutting board and slice it that way. Almost like you would um, like a like a hamburger. If you want to cut it in half, you could do that. Um, so, do you want to start the assembly of yours? I will, and okay. you can try. Um, don't use that one; it has a hole. Okay, but it. they are really finicky. You know, you'll see. Like this one has a little bit of a hole. You could use it, but let's start with two good ones. Perfect. And what what Taryn taught me too to do this is she said one, two, one. Two, so like two seconds, and you just flip it over. Mm -hmm. I think doing that like five, four to five times yep. is a really good sort of prescription to do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Again, those little tips help a long way. The other reason why I sort of chose this as we're beginning to assemble it uh, is there's tons of different nutrients that are in here for heart health. I, in, in particular, I thought of the monounsaturated fats that are in the avocado. It's a great addition for a different texture. The nutrients that are in our, our mango, the vitamin C and other macronutrients there are awesome. But more importantly, this is a very lean protein option. Tofu, which again, as Taryn said, it's one of those that many people are a little bit nervous to use because they're either not sure how to use it or they're just afraid it's so bland. But then again, the shrimp also is something that's great. And on that note, shrimp is a great lean protein source. Uh, many people are nervous because of the cholesterol. But the dietary cholesterol in shrimp is actually not going to be something that affects your blood cholesterol as much as a higher saturated fat protein item. So again, really a heart healthy meal for us here. So Taryn, you ready to start? Yeah, go. So okay. I'm going to start Let's mine. I'm going to do a tofu one. So the way I was taught to do it was to put one or two big basil leaves and or the spinach leaves. You can kind of do either. And I'll try to show you as I'm doing sure. it. But I'm trying to make almost a bed um, layer of the basil for the two first ones and the shrimp, I'm, I'm sorry, and the spinach, because again, they're really, really soft. So then I usually I take a little bit of the carrots, I just kind of lay it and I do it, This the wrap is about this, I put it about on the first third of it, just to kind of like a burrito, you would wrap it like, so I'm gonna take a nice piece of tofu and I like mango a lot, so I'm gonna, I would, I'm going to put two. I might be a little risky with that take because the risk for, take the risk for mango. It's really good, but <laughs> it breaks when you stuff too much. So you just don't want to stuff too much in it. Sure. The only other option that we didn't just quite talk about yet, which is the, they call them vermicelli noodles. They're kind of right. They're types of rice noodles. The vermicelli ones are really, really tiny. And these ones that we have are technically their little main rice noodles, but they still work. It just gives it, I mean, if you're looking to make this into a meal, it just kind of, um, increases the the um amount of food that you're putting yeah. into it or you can make it all the same sure. um is there anything else i was supposed to add to that? no mine looks pretty done oh, sure. wait no i think i'm just no yeah i'm good, this good. Is it. Feet gonna, punch, that's huh? okay but i'm gonna wrap mine and see if yeah. we uh oh all right well so i again i wrap it the way i wrap a, a, um, a burrito so i kind of take this and I take the two sides so that it doesn't fall off the edges. Yep. And then you just kind of wrap and hope it doesn't rip. Fingers crossed. Cool. Perfect. So That's amazing. Good job. Okay, so you do yours. I'm, I'm going to show you. So again, more of a newbie here with the rice roll, roll. So as we roll this here, again, I learned from Taryn on this. Oh, we got one thing. We got my shrimp. So we're going to add in a little bit. Perfect. I'm just going to add a little bit, but again, 
You can add a little bit more. I just wanted to have a little bit more mango. I really like the flavor of it. So I wanted that in there. So again, what I do is again, fold it just like I would start that. Then you tuck it in, tuck it in on the sides. And then you just continue to roll. Just Christmas prepared me for this one. With all the okay. gift wrapping oh, yeah. and done. So as you can see, this is why I really like it. As you can see the colors through the wrapper. And that's why I call that a brilliant sort of wrap. So again, two. And from this recipe, I really think this would be a serving size for somebody, uh, as well as some side dishes that can also be helpful. Um, and Tara will go over the peanut sauce, which again, the legumes there are also very healthy. Unsalted you can use. And we also used a low sodium soy sauce. Yes, we did. Just want to go over that before you go into exactly what's in it. But the low sodium sauce, low sodium has to be less than 140 milligrams per serving. So 140 milligrams per serving, just watch that serving size when you're having it. For example, a serving size for soy sauce is usually a tablespoon. But if you're having more than a tablespoon, let's say two, you have to double that. So awesome sauce. And as you can see, these things look amazing. Um, but again, other side dish edamame to really get that true Asian feel for this meal. Mm -hmm. And Taryn, you can go over the sauce too. Oh, okay. So it's super simple. I just did any kind of nut butter that you want. Uh, we use peanut butter, so we use yeah. peanut butter, but you could do sunflower butter. Anything works. Um, it's peanut butter. It's probably a you can make a small batch, about three tablespoons of peanut butter with a low sodium soy sauce, maybe one to two tablespoons. You do want probably a quarter cup, a little more of uh, low sodium chicken broth or chicken anything chicken stock. Um, to make it thinner, you need some fresh cilantro, um, crushed peanuts. I like a little bit of sesame oil in yeah. it, and then um, a little touch of lime. So it just kind of all comes together. You mix it in, and it'll come really pretty thin. Like you can add more, uh, a little bit of water or chicken stock to make it thinner if you want, but I really like this. So right. yeah. Ready? Oh yeah, dip it in. And I love it. Every time. It just, it has a, so much flavor. The peanut sauce definitely adds to it. Um, and again, it's nice, light, flavorly. And this is super, super nice. Um, the crunch, as a dietitian, the nutrients in it. Um, but it's an amazing, amazing dish that you can share with whoever you're sharing your heart with on Valentine's Day. So from our hearts to yours, we really hope that you enjoy this heart healthy recipe on Valentine's Day. And thank you for letting us share it with you. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye. Mm. You taste it.